bringing scientists underground could be a first step in understanding what happens inside a volcano. Not far from the 2010 eruption site, another of Iceland's volcanoes offers just that opportunity. The Þrínukigigur volcano is the only place on Earth where humans can descend into a volcano's magma chamber. Veteran climbers Björn and Einar, who both climbed Mount Everest, are on a mission to uncover this chamber's secrets and pave the way for a future scientific expedition. On Everest we go up, but here we are going down into the very heart of Mother Earth. So it's a bit different. Even though this volcano has not erupted in some 3,000 years, descending 450 feet into the magma chamber is a risky undertaking. Even a small, loose rock falling in here could easily kill them. Uh, Einar, this is Björn. I'm at the bottom. Everything went as planned, so you can come down when you're ready. This is not just any cave. This is a magma chamber that was once filled with red-hot magma shooting out on the surface of the Earth. And this volcano will not give up its secrets easily. It was a bit too fast in the middle section. I Their task to is to map the magma chamber. The if they the can rope. find the lava tubes that once fed this volcano, this place yeah, offers scientists up. an unprecedented opportunity yeah, to understand what here. caused the yeah. Eyjafjallajökull eruption to behave like it did. You see the whole chamber from here. Okay. And perhaps tell them what will happen next. Leave uh, 10 centimeters of each foot. The primary uh, goal we have is to, uh, to survey up the whole interior of the chamber and measure how big it is, the volume. And our preliminary results, would, I would estimate about 100,000 cubic meters. I don't know, I think that would be the biggest chamber known in the world. So, uh, and are we all set? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna move off to the mark and, t yep, and follow the mark. All right. Take care not to look into the red beam. It's a laser. It can damage your eyes. All right. We have uh, created a reference plane, and uh, we are starting scanning the southwest face of the inner surface of the crater. We'll scan for about uh, one hour and 50 minutes now. It's going to be almost 1,200 points. Björn and Einar's measurements build a 3D model of the known system inside the volcano. The upper part of the magma chamber forms the crater. Two lava tubes continue into the earth and, most likely, they were the conduits feeding the magma flow when the volcano erupted. But a mystery remains. Where did the magma disappear to? Why is this the only volcano that has been left standing and empty 